Time for Game is Game. Before becoming Big East Commissioner, Val Ackerman's career as an executive spanned the highest levels of men's and women's basketball. But it all started with being an athlete herself. That means it might not have been possible without Title IX, which was passed 50 years ago this summer. This landmark law was passed when I was in uh, eighth grade. Um, I was in junior high school and the enormity of it was, um, was, was obviously lost on me. Um, but as I, as I look back, it, it really did pave the way for me to play um, um, sports in high school. And then I was able to get a, a scholarship to go to college to play basketball in the early years um, of, um, of Title IX. And, you know, that that really uh, shaped me, the ability to get my education paid for at a great school, um, to learn all the life skills that come with that experience uh, really did, you know, set my adulthood um, in motion. So um, whenever I asked, I just, uh, you know, I just um, thank Title IX from the bottom of my heart and, and the brave people and the persistent people who were behind getting that um, that that force of federal law behind sports opportunities for young girls and young women. Can you take me back to your days at Virginia for a second? I want to know what you were like as a player. Could you describe your game for me? Okay, so now you're really taking me back here in time. Um, you know, I was a small forward um, at a time when you could be five nine and 5'10", maybe at that time, and, and still play in the forward position. Um, I was actually a pretty good shooter, so I was uh, nonetheless able to score over 1,000 points at Virginia, but I, I say with you know some immodesty here, it was without a three-point line. You know, I played hard. I mean, I wasn't as maybe as gifted or as athletic as some of the uh, women that we had to play against. You know, I was very competitive and, and pushed myself, and I think I got a lot of mileage out of the skills that I did have, but my real satisfaction was less in what I was able to accomplish than what my team accomplished at UVA. We weren't very good my first year. We got better every year. And then by the time I graduated in 1981, we were nationally ranked for a part of the year. Uh, we made the NCA, actually it was the AIAW postseason that year. Um, and uh, the program what was just markedly better, stronger, um, sort of more exciting, I think, for the university to have our successes than it was when I started. So there was really a sense of having uh, moved the ball forward. Once you finished school, you became a lawyer, of course, eventually working with the NBA, later launching the WNBA. How proud are you when you see how far the W in particular has come? Really proud, Maria. I mean, you know, it was really 26 or eight years ago where things that came before the WNBA were set in motion and that created a, a really good runway for the launch of the league in 1997. Um, some of it had to do with the success of the 1996 Olympic team in Atlanta that won a gold medal, became a bit of a laboratory for the NBA, which was helping back the tour financially and with marketing um, capabilities. It was a chance for the NBA to see what the interest was at that time in elite level women's basketball. And it was really good. You know, I thank David Stern most of all for having the ability to convince NBA owners back at that time to invest in this, you know, women's NBA. So now we have, you know, a league that's really in my mind become a beacon for women's team sports um, in terms of its longevity, in terms of what it has been able to achieve, and you know, to see generally, more generally, how far women's sports have come in the last 25 years. We see fan interest at levels that weren't seen 20 years ago or 25 years ago. Um, and we see more women involved in the administration and leadership of sports. For somebody like me, I feel like I've had a front row seat on all of that. Is there work to be done? Of course. Uh, but at the same time, I think that um, the gains that have been made can't can't go unnoticed and and we have to you know recognize them for what they are and that is you know progress